For the first time in a month since his turbul this morning incident, Philip Schofield has come out of hiding. The embarrassed actor, who was fired from ITV's popular daytime program and then shockingly left the network entirely after confessing he had lied to the Mail on Sunday about his romance with a co-worker, was spotted in Cornwall to honor his dear mother's birthday. Schofield, 61, was still dejected but appeared to have become somewhat tanned and got a haircut. He was wearing a casual blue t-shirt and white linen shorts and was holding his vehicle keys, his phone, and a vape. As he does each year, according to Mail in Line, he went there to honor his mother Pat's 87th birthday. It was a long cry from the pallid aspect he had when the news of his affair leaked, which destroyed his career, albeit he still appeared serious and rarely joyful. Philip said last month that he has avoided leaving his house out of fear that someone could spit on him. But in recent days, well-known figures like Sir Elton John have questioned if part of the controversy over the covert affair that ended the presenter's career was homophobic. Philip, a former BBC and IDV personality, was spotted with skin that had a healthier shine as a result of the warmer weather the UK has been experiencing in recent weeks. Philip strayed on his wife Stephanie with the young male co-worker, calling the connection unwise, but not illegal. Years passed before he finally revealed to the male that he had lied and that the tryst had only been a rumor. He continued by admitting that he had lied to his thenagents at the management company YMU, his employer IDV, his co-workers, and his friends. Then, in a remarkable succession of me culpas, he expressed regret for all the pain he had caused. It had a remarkable knock-on effect for the program and IDV, forcing Holly Willoughby to make a statement denying any knowledge of it. Although they initially met when he was 15 years old, Philip said he had not groomed the man. He continued by saying, Attraction is attraction. There is no distinction between the LGBT community and the heterosexual or lesbian communities. There should be no distinction. Here is when homophobia enters the picture. When he was 15 years old, I went to his theater school and that is when we actually first met. So there is a difference, I guess. Leonardo DiCaprio accepts it. Nevertheless, the LGBT community does not. Actor DiCaprio, 48, of Titanic is said to have had multiple romances with women his own age. Despite Schofield leaving on May 2020, the scandal hasn't been able to leave this morning. Only yesterday, a guest on the show brought up the incident, leaving Dermot O'Leary and Willoughby quaking in their seats. After a month-long journey to Italy, Chef Gino de Campo returned to the midday program on Tuesday and inquired if there was any news he should be aware of. The pair were clearly uncomfortable. Gino told Holly and Dermot, as he gave a preview of his cookery segment, everything is under control. I am back. Are there any recent developments I should be aware of? Is there anything I should be aware of? Holly insisted, no, no news, was heard as the studio became noticeably silent. Last month, Philip admitted to dating a considerably younger man who collaborated with him on the program, lying about it later, and having an affair. The seasoned TV host said in a shocking interview with the Daily Mail that he and the man started off as more than just buddies. This, according to the former TV host, is unwise but not illegal. I am making this statement via the Daily Mail, to whom I have previously apologized personally for deceiving, through my lawyer who I also misled, about an article sick that they planned to write about me a few days ago, Philip stated in his groveling apologies, adding that he had already apologized to them personally, first and foremost, I want to express my sincere apologies for lying to them and to many others about a connection I had with a staff member of this morning. At this morning, I did have a mutually agreeable on and off relationship with a younger male co-worker. Contrary to popular belief, although I was requested to assist the guy in getting into television when we first met as teenagers, it wasn't until he began working on the program that our relationship developed into something more. Although it was imprudent, the connection was legal. Now that it's over, I am painfully aware that I lied to my employers at IDV, my co-workers and friends, my agents, the media and subsequently the public, and most importantly to my family, the statement reads, I am very sorry for cheating on my wife, 
And I am truly sorry. ITV has my utmost thanks for the incredible opportunity they have provided me with by accepting my resignation with immediate effect. I will think back on my incredibly po judgment in engaging in the relationship and then lying about it. The younger man's identity is known to the male, but we have opted not to identify him by name. Following his abrupt resignation, Philip's unusual statement puts an end to weeks of frenzied speculation about the future of his career in both the TV business and the rest of the nation.